Good afternoon, everyone. I'm delighted to have you all in here to say a formal welcome. Uh, I'm Antonia Adezio, president of the Garden Conservancy, and I, I welcome you here on behalf of all the wonderful people in our organization. Uh, we're happy to have so many of you from our preservation projects, from the gardens we work with and preservation assistance, from gardens that are just simply interested in finding out more about how to run their gardens in a sustainable way. And I think we'll all profit tremendously from the time we spend together over these next few days. But we wanted to start with an inspiring story, and we're here today to talk about Peckerwood and the title, Looking Back and Going Forward. So before I introduce the program, I just want to do a couple of small thank yous. Uh, one to our board of directors who have supported this effort uh, wholeheartedly and who have traveled here to be with us this week and our scattered around the room, so I can't acknowledge you all together. Um, but we, we thank you and, and we value your participation here. Uh, the staff who have worked so hard to pull this together are many. Um, Bill Noble and his team have done a wonderful job, and we're also grateful to the wonderful consultants who have helped us, um, Joan Arenstein and Susan Greenstein, both of whom are in the room, and you'll be seeing a lot of them in the next few days as well. Uh, I want to thank Sophia Siskel, President of the Chicago Botanic Garden, and Chris Jarantoski, Executive Vice President. Um, they have been extraordinary partners for this. This is not just a venue that's been loaned to us, let alone rented to us. It's really a, a wholehearted welcome that we've received uh, as we planned this program for you and with you, and the garden is really the centerpiece. And so many of you, the last time we met, when asked where you'd like to meet next, all the hands went up for Chicago. And we knew there was a lot of pent-up demand to see this fabulous, world-class garden. So we feel very fortunate to be here today. And, and we're so appreciative to all of you uh, for the work you've done and for participating in it. Uh, so thank yous at an end. Um, let's talk about Peckerwood. Uh, John Ferry is one of my personal heroes. And I'm saying that in public, John, but I think you already know it. Uh, he's a man who's taken uh, his career in, in extraordinary directions that he has developed himself, that there was no path for what John has done. Uh, it was a vision, it was a creative uh, person who had just an extraordinary intellect and an ability to see the world around him in a particular way and to incorporate that into his vision for a garden. And all of us who have come in contact with John and, and his magnificent Peckerwood garden have, have been changed in some way by uh, the influence of this extraordinary man. So today we, we want to pay tribute to John and as an ins inspiration to all the work we do to preserve exceptional American gardens. We want to know more about his vision and his journey and uh, we figured that this format would work very nicely for that where we're going to tell you about Peckerwood, but really we're going to ask John to talk about himself and, and what he has done. So the format we have in mind is a conversation. We wanted it to be a little looser than, than just a stand-up presentation. Uh, Claire Sawyers, who is the director of the Scott Arboretum and also uh, the co-chair of the Garden Conservancy Screening Committee, agreed to help us make that happen by starting out with an introduction about the garden. Claire is uh, a great traveler and a, a great uh, lover of gardens of all stripes, and she's a, a fan of Peckerwood, as, as so many of us are. So she's going to give you an introduction, and then we're going to move into the conversation between John and Jonathan. And Jonathan was a, a, an intern at Chanticleer when we first crossed paths, and Chanticleer very generously loaned him to us, and he came to work at Peckerwood, and I'm sure he'll tell you about that. And so w this is a, a nice uh, reunion, I think, of um, John and Jonathan talking about what that garden means to each of them, and thank you, Jonathan, for being part of that. So on to um, Peckerwood Garden, looking back and going forward. Thank you. <laughs> 